Hi besties, Lexi Luxury here. How the hell are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I have another video for my influencer series and we are talking about how to set your rates. This is a video that has been highly requested. So before we jump on into all the goodness, if you're just now coming across my page, hi, I'm Lexi, nice to meet you. I do fashion videos, beauty videos, influencer tips, obviously. And I do an occasional vlog, you know, some random lifestyle stuff. So basically if you're into any of those things, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Join the fam, I have huge plans for the end of this year and I'd love you to be a part of it. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, queens, let's talk about money, shall we? Before I jump into the numbers and like the nitty gritty and the stuff you probably came here for, there are a couple things that I would like to share with y'all. So the first thing I wanna say is, it is industry standard for influencers to be paid, okay? This is advertising for a business or a product or a service and a brand is reaching out to you, an influencer, because they want your audience or they want your content. They see some type of value in you. So yes, you should absolutely be paid. I think a lot of people are surprised that you can get paid very well in this industry. And I know it is new and there's not a lot of information out there, which is why I have a full course, my influencer course, which I will link down below this video and probably up above somewhere in this video that goes over all of that stuff. Another thing I wanna quickly mention, even though I am going to go over some numbers and some ideas of what you should price yourself at, I want you to remember that you are a freelancer, okay? Like you're your own business owner, honey. Like you're your own brand. You can charge whatever the fuck you want. As a freelancer and as a business owner, you get to set your own rates. So don't let any brand or any peer or anybody around you tell you what your prices should be. You're the only one who knows how much work you put into it, how much time and effort and energy that goes into each piece of content you create, and you are the only one who can really put a value on that. Some brands will say you're too expensive or that for your follower count, they can't see why they should be paying you the rates that you have set. Don't worry, I've heard it too, but I've also heard from other brands that they are more than happy to pay me my rate. And I've even been paid more than my rates before. So just don't buy into the BS, okay? Hold your head high, know your rates, set the standard so we can all move forward in this career and brands can figure the fuck out that they need to be paying us more, okay? Okay, anyways, let's move on. Another quick thing, if you are even questioning why you should be getting paid in the first place, I definitely recommend you check out my influencer course, girl. I will give you all the confidence you need just in week one and it is a five week course. I think I'm gonna be adding a week six later this year. You can also check out my tips on negotiating, which is another video I did on YouTube. I'll link that above and down below in the description box as well. Okay, so let's get into some numbers, shall we? The numbers I'm gonna throw at you have been calculated based on my own experience, based on some very credible people in the industry, and I am also gonna be using some rates that I've gotten from collab platforms. So there's a lot of good information coming to you guys, okay? This is not just like numbers that I pulled out of my ass, all right? Like these are these are good numbers that I too agree with. First thing I wanna do is pull up this screenshot that I got off of this collab platform called Hashtag Paid. If you aren't familiar with collab platforms, I do talk about them extensively in my influencer course. This is for Instagram content only, but this still gives us a really good baseline at what we can look at. The reason I love that a collab platform has put this up there is because I know that the brands that are on that platform are going to see that chart and see what they should be offering to influencers and not just what we should be pitching ourselves as. So this is right in the sweet spot of what I charge based off of my Instagram following. I just thought it was so helpful and so cool to see it on a legitimate collab platform. So go ahead and screenshot this if you guys would like to. Now, with that being said, I also was on a webinar call with a woman. I will leave her username on the screen. She's actually a lawyer and she works with other influencers by looking at the contracts and she helps them negotiate their rates and do all of these amazing things. The rates that she was throwing out there were a little bit higher than this. I actually wrote them down, so I'm gonna grab the notebook. Okay, here we go. I have all my notes. This was like such a juicy webinar, I'm not even gonna lie. And it was really cool because there were a lot of other creators in the webinar as well. We were all talking to each other and kind of like spitballing our rates off to each other. There were some people who had like over 100K who weren't even charging what I was charging. It was so nice for us to all have like a candid conversation about it. It really like opened our eyes to how much we should be charging. and. That that's why I like to do this little series for you guys so that you can just have this information too because like 
it's just so helpful. Anyways, let's get into it. So this woman was saying that if you have under 5,000 followers, you should be charging at least $250 per Instagram post. I think that that is great. To be honest with you, there are tons of people under 5K who are absolutely crushing it. Like their content alone is worth at least $250. And the fact that they're even posting it on their social medias, they have to fit it into their feed. I just think that is more than fair. So I really like that price. You can kind of compare it to the chart to see, you know, which one you feel better off with, but I think that's fair. For 5,000 to 10,000 followers, she was saying you should be charging between $250 and $500 per Instagram post. I don't know if I wrote this down wrong, but from 10,000 to 15,000, I wrote down $850 to $1,000 per post. That's quite a big jump from the 5K to 10K, so I would say 500 to 850. I think that makes a little bit more sense. She was also saying if you have over 20,000, that you should be charging at least $1,000 per post. So I know those prices may have shocked you, but the reason for this video, remember, is so that we can all have this information together. Now I know we just talked about like Instagram posts, but on that chart that you guys saw before <laughs> over here, it does talk about, you know, the difference between an Instagram video, which would be like a real, an Instagram carousel post versus just a regular static feed post, also stories. So that should give you some ideas. You could use the Instagram video column to roll over into the TikTok world. So if you had, you know, 10,000 followers on TikTok, you could look at this list and see how much an Instagram video would cost because I would say that Reels and TikTok should be, you know, about the same amount, assuming that you have the same amount of followers on both platforms. So now that we finished the number portion of this video, I'm going to just go over some good helpful tips for you guys as far as rates go. So one thing I want to point out, I know we were talking about follower count in terms of determining your rate. However, if you're just making content for a brand and you're not posting it to your social channels, that can be finesse a little bit differently. I know there are some scenarios in which a brand is reaching out to you for user generated content. They probably want like 10 lifestyle photos. They want the rights to it forever, all that kind of stuff. When it comes to that, then you can negotiate for way more money. I would definitely not say to pay attention to this chart. I would just maybe go off of this for if it was one photo and then multiply that by how however many photos you would need. Maybe give them a bit of a discount per photo if that feels good to you. But that is definitely a different scenario in which I would say, you know, just use your better judgment and make sure you're getting paid what you're worth because if they're asking for the rights for your content forever and ever, you can really jack that price up. For me personally, with my rates, I allow anybody to have the rights to my content for one year. That's it. If they want the rights to my content for two years or in perpetuity, then I'm gonna ask them to pay me like per month or per six months or per year or something along those lines. So when you're setting your rates, kind of keep that in mind. Um, I do have that on my rate card, which speaking of which, let's get into that right now. So obviously we've been talking about rates and setting them and all that kind of stuff. It's also really nice to just have like a nice little printed up like PDF so that if a brand asks you what your rates are, you can just send that over. You don't have to type a bunch of stuff out. It looks really professional. And then they can see the other deliverables that you offer and maybe they'll want to work with you a little bit more on a different platform. So a rate card, let's talk about it. I tend to use a rate card more than a media kit. That's just because I feel like brands don't really care about what's in a media kit. I hate to say it, but for the longest time, I did just strictly do a media kit and I put my whole bio in there about me, my mission. I put all of the different brand collaborations I've had. And although that information is important, a lot of the times a brand just wants to know how much you're wanting to charge for a project. So that's why I definitely recommend having a rate card. It's super easy to do if you want to create one. I have a video in my influencer course on how you can do it. I also have this little extras box in my rate card and it just states that I have bundled content for a discount upon request, meaning that if they wanted a TikTok and an Instagram post and an Instagram reel, I wouldn't just charge them flat rate for all three. I would probably give them a bit of a discount. That's just what I do personally. I also have in there that they have the exclusive rights to my content for up to a year with those 
prices and I have in there that I do offer content creation upon request meaning like user generated content like I was speaking about before I probably have my rate card pulled up somewhere on here but you can see I have a box for my YouTube deliverables my Pinterest and obviously Instagram and TikTok as well and I do have a little one for my blog so all of my bases are covered if a brand reaches out to me and they want to work with me and they ask what my rates are I send them this it looks really nice and professional it gives them all the information they need to know and they can see all the other services that I offer so you know maybe we can finesse something better or bigger than the current collaboration on the table now when it comes to your rate card I would definitely recommend having this saved in like a Google Drive if you use Gmail or just in a place on your computer where you're gonna have easy access to it so you can just drag and drop it into an email if somebody asks for it but you are going to find out if you are killing the game which I'm sure you all are you're gonna find out that you need to raise your rates eventually right so let's talk about that for a second just really briefly it is normal to raise your rates as your engagement increases as your follower count increases as your content improves also side note if you watched my last video then you know a little bit about this but when it comes to your rate card or pitching your rates for the first time you want to make sure that it is a lot higher than your bottom line rate so let's say that you have 10,000 followers on Instagram and in reality you would accept $300 for an Instagram post then you want to make sure that on your rate card it doesn't just say 300 because you know the brands are gonna come back and try to negotiate you down you want to put on that rate card that it's 400 or 500 or 550 you get what I'm saying so it really helps with this little chart over here if you are using this you can see that there is a range you can kind of use that range to gauge how much you should pitch your rates for and then what your bottom line rate should be that's kind of how I do it like I said I already had an idea for my rates before I saw this chart but it was spot on so I just wanted to share this with you guys to give you something tangible to walk away from this video with but just as a recap because I know that was kind of all over the place your higher rate is going to be the one in your rate card that's going to be the one you tell brands your bottom line rate is just going to stay in your head okay like you don't need to tell anybody what your bottom line rate is period okay I think that is everything for this video if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below I'll get back to you as quickly as possible or you can send me a dm on instagram at lexi luxury and I would love to help you I seriously love it when you guys just like reach out to me with like your influencer questions because I just feel like I'm genuinely helping you guys like I didn't have this help like at all back in the day so like it makes me feel good like I'm 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 passing it on or sending it forward or what's the term anyways queens just as a reminder you are worthy of compensation go change your rate cards go raise your rates if you need to start carrying yourself as if you're worth the money that we talked about today because you are and just remember that the more we all stick together the more we start demanding what we're worth for our work the more it will become more of an industry standard and we won't have to argue with these brands okay <laughs> i love you guys so much before you leave make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications and if you learned something today or if you just genuinely like this video or me <laughs> then click that thumbs up it helps me out so so much also don't forget to check out my influencer course besties I have a full five-week course just for you on how to become a paid influencer we go over all the stuff that I've talked about here and then some and then some and then some and then some okay I love you guys so so much and I'll see you next Sunday bye